Good evening, church. It is so good to be back on our revival this week, our second night of revival, though, and we thank God for what He's what He's doing this week, though. And and we're going to continue to pray as as we continue our insight into the Word and what God has given us. Amen. Let's have a quick word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise your holy name. We pray that you bless him, Father. My voice bless, my mind bless everything within me, Heavenly Father, to, to teach to your people, though, to, to, to really give an insight to him, Father, to this healing power that you have for us during this night of revival, Heavenly Father. That you pr we pray that, Heavenly Father, that you would to help us to understand, though, there's, there's, there's healing in Jesus. There's healing in Jesus if we, would, if we would just remain focused on him. We pray that you will bless the Heavenly Father, that somebody will hear a word to Heavenly Father that will bless their heart and bless their mind, though, and, and move them into a position to Heavenly Father where they can truly be a blessing to the Lord. We pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good evening, church. So as we talked about on our beginning of our revival, our, our beginning night, though, the, the uh, Monday night, we talked about the healing banner for, for mental exhaustion, the healing banner for mental exhaustion. And we, we prayed that as you looked at the word that was given to you on, the, on, last, on last night, though, when we, t we, we talked uh, about uh, what the Lord has said to Moses, though, he said, he said, write this for a memorial. That was Exodus 17, verses 14 through 16. He said, then the Lord said to Moses, though, write this for a memorial in the book and recount it in the hearing of Joshua that I will ultimately block out the remembrance of Amalek from, from under heaven. And Moses built an altar and called it name, the Lord is my banner. The Lord is my banner. For he said, though, because the Lord has sworn, though, the, the Lord has war with Amalek from generation to generation, from generation to generation. And and we have to understand, though, as we, we reflect real quick, though, that, that banners are raised, though, to celebrate and honor, uh, honor those. And, and, and banners are visible. It's a visible thing, though. And as we look into the law tonight, though, let's look at a couple of words, though, when we're talking about when we talk about healing, when we talk about healing, though, there's a couple of verses, though, that, that comes to mind when we talk about strength and healing for those who feel exhausted you know for those who feel exhausted Matthew eleven twenty eight. Matthew eleven twenty eight. he says come to me all who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest it, it, you know that's that's a, that's a great verse right there he said come to me though when we read that he's Jesus basically said come to me all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. And, 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 and as we look in the Old Testament, though, so Psalm 73, 26, Psalm 73, 26, so he said, my flesh and my heart may fail. Physically, I might, I might just fall apart, though. I, I'll just fall apart, though, physically, though. But God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever we see the we see the healing banner for for mental exhaustion though he went in, in psalm 73 20 26 though and 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 go oh, and going on back though to exodus 33 14 though it says that the lord replied my presence my presence is the present though it's the lord though will go with you God is saying, basically saying, though, I'm going to be with you. I'm going to be with you, though. He said, my presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. And, and, uh, and a lot of times, though, when we feel mentally exhausted, though, we need rest. And sometimes we don't get a chance to get that rest because we're so busy in this world. Another scripture, another scripture, Zechariah 4.6. Zechariah 4, 6, though, he said, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. 
lot of times we try we try to fix things for the Lord. And the Lord said, though, not not by might, not, not you know, not not by not by power, but my spirit. God is saying that. So there are signs of being mentally exhausted that we need, we need to look at though when we talk about the healing banner of mental exhaustion though because sometimes though you know people don't give you the benefit of doubt though when you say that you know I'm just tired I'm just tired though and and we'll just look over it though and say yeah yeah just go to bed though and just wake up though but they're still tired early in the morning when they get up the next day morning there are signs of being mentally exhausted and let's look at scripture real quick though Philippians 410 Philippians 410 is though and it says though do not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving Present your, present your request to the Lord, though, and the peace of God, though, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus, there are signs of, of being mentally exhausted, though. According to Healthline.com, you know, there, there, there can be uh, physical as well as emotional symptoms of experiencing mental exhaustion. The physical signs of mental exhaustion though uh, may include headaches, upset stomachs, body aches, chronic fatigue, you're tired all the time though, changes in your appetite though, you might eat, you might not eat much though, you might eat too much. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. I, I can contest today. Amen, so Insomnia. Not being able to sleep. Weight gain and weight loss. It comes and it goes. Amen, somebody. Increased illness such as, as colds and flu. You're sick all the time. You know, Physical signs of mental exhaustion. Emotional signs of, of mental exhaustion may include depression. Depression. And a lot of times we don't want to admit depression in, 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 our, in our society. We don't want to admit depression in the church, though. No, 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 no. I'm, I, I, I'm excited all the time, though. Come on, somebody, though, is not excited all the time. Amen. There, there's depression, though. There's the, another emotional signs of mental exhaustion may include anxiety, cynicism, empathy, feeling of not caring, detachment. Anger, feelings of hopelessness, feelings of dread. You dread going somewhere. You dread going to work. You dread, some people even dread going home. Hey Amen, somebody. You dread going to mama house. Hey Amen, somebody. You dread going places though that you normally would like to go to. Feeling a dread, though, lack of motivation. I just, I just, I just don't know. Well, if we have to, okay, we'll go ahead and do it. Amen. No, 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 no motivation. Decline in productivity. Difficult concentrating. You can't concentrate on, on much or nothing, though. These are signs of mental exhaustion that, that goes within the body, though. And we have to look at the healing banner of Jesus Christ for help, for healing. For he helps to heal us, though, when we're exhausted. If you are mentally weary, be encouraged. Be encouraged, be encouraged, though. Many strong, courageous, and faith Faith-filled people in the Bible grew weary. We should never feel guilty of the weakness that we feel. But only allow it to be a reminder of where our true strength come from. Do our true strength come from the, you know, our true strength come from the Lord. I can do all things in Christ that strengthen me. The Apostle Paul wrote these words, though, to fellow believers. Let not, 
Let us not become weary of doing good. For the proper time that we will reap a heaven, a harvest, if we do not give up. That's Galatians 6 and 9. And again, though, he repeated the encouragement in 2 Thessalonians 3.13. 2 Thessalonians 3.13. As for you, brothers, do not grow weary in doing good. Notice how the word, though, encourage us, though, do not grow weary, though, because, because God understands, though, that we all going to get weary at one time or another. We're all going to feel some discouragement in some state of mind, some state of being at one time or another. Paul must have known full well that, that it was to feel weary and totally exhausted in the work that was to come before him because he traveled from place to place. Though, and he traveled though, trying to convince people that, that God, is, God can help them. And sometimes in the church, though, we grow weary when we try to help people that are lost. Amen, somebody. It's a hard work. It's a hard work, though. I tell, I tell anybody any time, though, I say, I, I didn't want to accept this call. I ran from the Lord. <laughs> and I got tired running from the Lord. <laughs> but it's hard work, though, even doing the ministry of God. That you will get weary. You will get tired. And, 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 and we have to understand that it becomes particularly difficult to keep pressing through if you feel, if you never feel appreciated. If nobody never tell you, thank you. And sometimes that's all it takes, just one little word, thank you. Or I love you. But if it's always a negative, you, get, you feel unappreciated. And value for serving and care you give to others, though. But, but, but as Paul reminds us, keep going. Stay strong. Don't give up. For we will reap a harvest at just the right time. Understand, he's fighting for you. Jesus is fighting for you to come overcome your mental exhaustion. None of us are immune. Life is hard some days. Often there is not even just, uh, there's not even just one big thing. But there's a lot of little battles that can drain us completely dry. Parenting can drain you completely dry. Marriage can drain you completely dry. Now, don't look at your spouse, though, and, and tell them that you dry me out. <laughs> hey, man, somebody, don't do that now. Jobs completely can completely drain you dry. Relationships. Yeah, somebody got a boyfriend. Somebody got a girlfriend that's draining them completely dry. Fears, worries about the future, experiencing loss, discouragement, illness, money problem. Everybody got some money problems somewhere. Amen, somebody. It can all leave us beaten down and worn. But truth says this. Though our strength and heart may fail, he will never fail us. We can lift up our hands, no matter how tired we may feel, to the throne of grace. Our Lord Almighty, he will give us healing and power, and he will bring the victory when we feel outnumbered. Or too tired to keep pressing on. Peace be to you this evening, saints. Take a deep breath. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take a deep breath. <laughs> and remember, he's fighting for you. He's fighting for you. 
Look at the healing banner. He's fighting for your mental exhaustion. And he won't let go. God won't let go. Not ever. Amen. Thank God for you this evening. As we continue to pray that God will give you that healing victory for your mental exhaustion. Amen. Amen. God bless you.